Good evening, guys, and welcome to the coffee. Well, where it's coffee bar, but this is clearly not a coffee video. I guess I want to kind of make this a little, little quick. I'm running out of daylight. I want to get fishing, but most of you know that I collect vintage fishing gear, old antique bait casters, a lot of Flugers, some Shakespeare's. Come across two new ones. This one's a heavy duty one. This is actually made by Fluger. Still works. A lot different than the bait casters we're using nowadays. So I got this one here today, three bucks. Three bucks. And I got this little mini, which you saw in the B roll. Two bucks. Alright, guys, I believe I showed you this one not long ago. This has a uh, nice cork handle. This is a steel rod. I had this in another video. But uh, I thought I'd show it to you again. The unique thing about it is the eyelet on the end. I'm pretty sure that didn't focus very well. It's just a U. It's not an eyelet, it's just a U. I'm not sure if I had this one in a video or not, but this is a glass rod with the steel eyelets. That's a full eyelet on the end. This also has a Fluger reel on it. Cool thing about this one though, it's got the colored line. The brown, the green, the yellow. Uh, looks like there's gray and orange in there as well. You don't see that very often anymore. Now in the honor of transparency, I did not collect all this stuff on my own as I did another video on some of the other stuff I got before. Most of the stuff was collected by my father. He didn't have room for it. We weren't about to sell this stuff, so I took it and now it's mine. It's about enough of that. So I'm running out of daylight. I got maybe, I know it looks bright, but it's actually not. This is the camera setting. So I got maybe an hour before it's pitch black and the actual mosquitoes come out. I want to see if I can go catch a fish. Look it, it's 8.23. Hope you saw that, 8.23. I've got less than an hour, probably less than 40 minutes before it gets totally dark. I'm on my way to Lighthouse Cove. We're gonna see how many fish, if any, I can catch before it's dark or before the mosquitoes carry me away. And before I go any further, I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time out of your day to watch my videos. That means a lot. See you there. Yes, guys, we're starting off with a frog. So the fish hit the frog, but as usual out here, they're not committing. So I'm going to throw a wacky rig where that fish hit and see what happens. Six inches offshore He took it. Told you I saw him jump earlier. Problem is he showed himself and got caught. There you go folks. Nice little bass. Nice little bass. Well, that didn't turn out as good as I had hoped, but one fish is better than no fish. And no, I did not use one of these rods. Um, I did make a video way back. I was going to use one of these rods to try and catch a fish, but it was an epic fail. But what I am going to do is I'm going to clean up probably the new one I got, this uh, larger Fluger. I'm going to put this old line on it, 
I'm going to go see if I can catch some bluegill or something. That will be in another video. So I hope you all enjoyed that video. One fish, yeah, I was more excited about the new reels. Anyway, I'll see you all in the next one. Later.